joined once again on After Hours with the crew by Brett Weechester. Brett, a big win for you guys tonight. 4-1 over the White Court Wolverines, and you accounted for half of the points. You got a goal, you got back on that, uh, and you got an assist as well. So uh, before we get into the particulars of that, I'm just curious how you would describe how the last little stretch of this season is going and, and then being able to find yourself once again tonight. Oh, uh, yeah, no, it's been good. You know, we, uh, we picked up in playoffs, picked up from where playoffs hole. Oh. Sorry. Uh, we picked up from playoffs where we were, and uh, we started rolling with it. You know, we had, we had that, that start, the streak at the start, and, uh, you know, we had that one loss in Oak so we really battled back after that, and we were really pulling together. You know, this, this game tonight, it was, it was a little weird for us. You know, we couldn't really get too much going, but we found a way, and that's, I think, the, the big part of our team this year is that we do find a way. So let me ask you about that because you went scoreless in the first period and that doesn't happen very often, if ever, especially here at home. What were they doing that was so effective in stopping the, the powerhouse offense that you guys have? I think their goalie was, was on his game today. Uh, you know, we, we, we didn't really fire too many pucks on him in the first but uh, eventually we started getting some on him and he was, he was doing really well, but eventually we were able to capitalize and it was good. Did it feel good to get back in the points column? I know you, you had a game out of the lineup and, and you get back out there and it, to me, this was your best game of the year. Did you feel the same way? Yeah, 100%. It was, it was nice. It's been, a long, it's been a long time since that first one at the start of the season, but uh, it was nice to get back on the scoring sheet and uh, also pick up an assist on that too. And it was your whole line that was going tonight. A great, a great outing for Sidlowski and Davis Murray uh, factored in on both of those goals that you were a part of as well. So how are you guys finding the chemistry there on that fourth line? I think we really picked it up. Uh, you know, Sid and Murr are both really good hockey players, so it's easy to play with them. It's it, it, it's fun. We have, we have a good time out there, and tonight we we were able to get rewarded, so it was nice. You're gonna see Grand Prairie on Sunday. Anything that you guys want to modify uh, as you head towards that afternoon date? I think our starts just got to be a little bit better. You know, it wasn't too bad tonight, but uh, against Grand Prairie on Sunday afternoon, it's a different time game. But I think I think we'll be coming ready. Joined now on After Hours by Davis Murray, one of the newer faces here on this Crusaders team. A goal and an assist for you tonight. Uh, I thought your line was humming, Davis. What was your assessment of how you guys played in this game against White Court? Uh, I thought we played good. I mean, three bigger bodies, and I think for us, just to try to get as much energy and cycle the puck and get to the net. I mean, we've been fortunate in the last two games to score some offense on our line, so it was another good game for us. And you guys are producing when the top line wasn't for a change, and I'm assuming this was the kind of game, just based on how they really clogged up the middle defensively, that you guys needed to get some ugly ones, and hey, as a fourth line grinder right now, that's uh, that's how they're going to come, right? Yeah, I mean, you know, Savvy and Zaps and Arts, they're always going to they're gonna put up numbers, but we can't rely on them every game. You know, we need secondary scoring, and for our line to come out and score some goals and um, tie to get one, too, I mean, it helps definitely generate some uh, momentum and it's good for us as a team. How is your game changing now, uh, stepping back from the WHL, back into the AJ? I imagine things are, are a little bit slowed down, but is there anything else that you've really noticed and, and have helped uh, maybe capitalize on, on what you've been doing out here in the last couple games? Uh, I just think, you know, skating for me, um, you know, in the Western League, sometimes it gets clogged up. They clog up the neutral zone and um, it's quick to go back on D where here you can really pressure the puck a lot more and, and skate with it when you have it. So um, just for that, that's probably the biggest thing for me. One of the older guys on this team, one of the 20-year-olds, uh, what have you meant as a leader to this group, in your opinion? Um, I just try to help the younger guys out as much as I can. You know, um, I know how tough it can be at a young age sometimes in, in junior hockey and how tough it can be if you're in and out of the lineup. So I'm just trying to help them in any way I can and be a good presence in the room and on the bench. Get the early start on Sunday against Grand Prairie. You're at home, but that's something you don't deal with as much in the WHL. So how are preparations going to change for you before uh, before that date? Uh, I just think, you know, you know, tomorrow we got to come in and have a really good practice, um, get our legs moving, and then Sunday it's it's a quick turnaround. You just got to get your head back in the game and, and reset and then try and do your best. Davis, thank you. Thanks.